All right, so the sneaker game, it feels like it's been missing something. Rumors have been swirling around. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, we got to look at things. We got to take a look at the facts. We got to look at the actual evidence that we have. So where did all of these rumors start from? Now, a few weeks back, of course, Adidas, they put out their financial guidance forecasting expectations to lose upwards of the amount of 1.3 billion dollars right now it's really quite interesting that i believe the same exact day rumors starting to float around now from my observations this is where it all began salute to my man day to ass kicks you guys got to give him a follow now he posted this right here on IG. This is a repost of a tweet stating Adidas just structured a proposal to Kanye West to re-engage him back into the brand significantly higher than his previous royalties too. He's considering, I guess everybody's not trying to take all these big losses 2023. So this is a retweet from a user by the name of at FitDadAK. So we got to look up this guy right here sneaker enthusiast lv connoisseur father at secret sauce group which they claim to be the best sneaker community on the planet so it's one of these like cook groups you know that uh claim to have insider information at this point we can't say that they're a reliable source just because their track record really they have no track record right now i guess correct me if i'm wrong now, he did say something here that I wanted to point out to y'all. Right here, nine hours ago. This is the last time I will speak on this topic until an official announcement is made. The board of directors have a responsibility to make this right. Despite what you may think, cancel culture is not relevant to most of high society. The only thing that matters to them is green. All right. Then we got the update Secret Sauce Group. <laughs> Once again, that name is wild though, by the way, Secret Sauce. Kanye West and Adidas have officially reached an agreement to release the remaining scheduled pairs of Yeezys for 2023. No new colorways will be produced as of now. Smart move for both parties, which I think. So once again, this is coming from the secret sauce group. But then it's getting picking up some steam here. We have a report. Uh, this is Yay Editorial, which seems to be a pretty reliable source and uh, seem to have some connections to the Yay inner circle. Um, they claim to report that Yay confirms initial deal, which will profit both parties with Adidas. The German shoe giant will drop its litigation too additional talks are ongoing this account bless up chrome this is a well-known photographer if you're in this universe this is the guy that gets a lot of exclusive images of yay um he posted exclusive photo bless up yay James 5-6, Adidas, thank you for doing the right thing. Which, this doesn't happen to be any confirmation. Maybe it could just be, you know, him just celebrating as a fan. You have Ali Alexander. This guy apparently works for Ye. At one point, I'm not sure if he still does. Uh, he posted three stripes with the shoe emoji and a retweet can confirm. And you have photos by Kanye reposting the tweet by Archangel Adidas has reportedly reached a deal with EA. And we're here now. So again, no confirmation by any major news outlet as of yet. Um, I mean, academics reposted it, but that's academics. So I think as fans and sneakerheads, we're all kind of just hoping that all of this kind of comes into fruition. 
according to what the rumors are is it's basically just a buyout agreement so it's not like Ye officially re-signed back to him with the new deal but i guess he's gonna be getting a better royalty here and we're gonna get the leftover yeezys that have just been sitting around in warehouses for months now collecting dust hopefully we don't have a nike lost and found situation where uh we're getting moldy pairs of Yeezy shipped out to people. As of now, there's no confirmation of when these pairs will drop. I dropped the whole video speculating on the leftover pairs. Um, reports are that the Pirate Black 350 V1, a classic grail, could be one of the first releases. So I guess right now, everyone's excited. The future is looking very bright and we're just kind of waiting to see what the next move will be. No one knows if Adidas will make an official announcement. So right now, the next move is on them. We'll wait to see if any date surface or if they say anything official. As of right now, we'll just kind of have to wait and see how things go.